Cause this nigga done he done he done interviewed cartels again like people in Brazil who are fucking real time slimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, well, he could pick up and then he goes to Haiti. Dog. He goes to Haiti and some random Haitian is like, Hey fucking man, you coming with me? I am the captain now. I don't even know if that's how Haiti people sound. Popular YouTuber, your fellow Arab, has been kidnapped in Haiti, but what was he doing there? What do the kidnappers want, and is he going to be okay? All of that. Bro, I heard the kidnappers want six hundred thousand dollars. Listen, if I was Arab, I'd be like, "What?" Uh, to Haiti, he tweeted out, uh, "Going on another one of those trips. If I die, six hundred. That wow. Out. If I live, all glory to God." On March 14th, it was announced on Haiti <coughs> that U.S. journalist Addison Pierre had been kidnapped by the 400 Mawazo Kang in Quade Bukit. Addison Pierre is your fellow Arab. This is the last footage of Arab we have before he got kidnapped. So we actually cannot leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m. And if we leave right now, we'll get there while it's dark. It's about a six hour road trip. We'll get there while it's dark and that place is completely run by gangs. So you don't want to be dealing with the gangs even though we have safe passage, we're already approved. All it takes is one stupid gang member I, holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. That, so bro. we're not taking that risk. Yet. I was just about to say that even he knows he's self-aware that it just takes one, one hothead, and that's probably exactly what happened. I'm telling you, he probably was trying to act. There was probably one of those hotheads who was probably trying to act like Big Boss, and now Arab is getting that for six hundred dollars, six hundred thousand dollar ransom. I hope he's cool though. <clears throat> Genuinely, I hope Arab is okay, and I hope that <laughs> I hope they don't kill him. My, being right now. my girl said that he's being tortured right now, which is hella fucked. But yeah, I mean, in countries like that, they do that shit. Uh, like, why haven't they brought it to us? Why haven't they brought it to us? Just like beating him and shit. At night, we're gonna be leaving at three in the morning. Why we're they the it to only us? people in this entire. Where's my six hundred thousand dollars? Everybody else wow. is workers, employees, etc. What? Because no one's allowed enough country so there's no tourists here okay other than those uh, royal wow. caribbean guys but i have the I entire hotel um, to myself look at that view man I you got the mountain that range haiti was like you got the sun setting one of those places okay where you have tourism entire around. cap haitian over here <laughs> and we've got a pool which i wasn't going to take advantage of i had uh, seen an article about it and they said that there was some kind of like restriction <laughs> on Haiti because of the gang violence. And I mean, if there's a restriction. You the only person in an entire hotel because the country's completely shut down, no one should be coming in, and you're just a retarded YouTuber. On March 29th at 1040. How many times in your life are you the only person in an entire hotel because the country's completely shut down, no one should be coming in, and you're just a retarded YouTuber. On March 29th at 10.45 p.m., Arab's brother reached out to Lord Miles, another big YouTuber, who was working in the past. He said, hey man, this is Arab's brother. Miles responded with, hey man, he is okay? And Arab's brother responded, he is not. He is kidnapped in Haiti. Then we see a voice call for 16 minutes that took place. This was in fact <coughs> speaking directly to the kidnappers, but here is how they got into that mess in the first place. Arab went into Haiti with Sean Scara, who is known to help YouTubers film in Haiti. He's called The Fixer, so I assume he does a lot more than just film for that. But Arab was working with Sean to film the riots in Haiti, but unfortunately, <coughs> hey, Shani, you Sean don't gotta expose bro like that. 24 hours before <coughs> the kidnapping, my <coughs> called Arab the fixer because he put people up together. Air responded, I'm probably interviewing the leader. Barbecue? Wait, is this on Barbecue? Telegram? If I don't get kidnapped before that. Barbecue is the head and was also kidnapped. 24 hours before they were kidnapped, so bro was kidnapped asked too. Arab if he was heading to the capital. Air responded, I'm probably <coughs> interviewing the leader. Barbecue. <coughs> Mm -hmm. if I no, and apparently they they call the leader barbecue because he barbecues people. He barbecues people. <laughs> Don't get Fucking kidnapped savage. for that. Barbecue is the head of the revolutionary forces in Haiti. They were actually going to... Bro, I know damn well he did not get kidnapped by this fucking African-American Colonel Sanders looking at him. <laughs> 
head of the revolutionary forces in Haiti. They were actually going to interview the leader, but instead they were both seized and now the kidnappers are demanding a ransom of $600,000. The United States government as well as the State Department <coughs> decided not to help with this matter. Not Despite what? 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 I'm sorry, what was that? interview the leader, but instead they were both seized and now the kidnappers are demanding a ransom of $600,000. The United States government as this. well as the State Department have decided not what? to help with this matter. Not yet. Despite Arab what? Citizen, and the United States government said we're not helping. Cage in a place on the eastern <coughs> capital. His location is no, now. Ah, they got that boy in a cage. Lord Miles revealed that Arab has been kept in a cage in a place on the eastern outskirts of the Yo, capital. Yo, Arab His right now is in a is cage, now. bro. According to Haitian While I'm waking up happily in the morning, Arab right now is in a cage in Haiti. That's crazy. That's why y'all gotta be blessed for who y'all are. I mean, then again, Arab, he's financially successful. Personally successful. <coughs> he's just a journalist, but he takes those risks takes those risks but th that's the thing the people have been cool enough to let them pass there's just those those you know there's only so many times you can get lucky with people like that you know what i mean like with the cartel and shit like that people that kill people every day that behead people that fucking do crazy shit and, and he caught he caught his his bad day News. And it was happened to be when he went to Haiti. Forty thousand dollars, and they because like, yeah, that's not yeah, the yeah, yeah. forty thousand not seen yet. But these travel YouTubers get kidnapped. They're not the travel YouTubers that you're used to, like vlogging in Italy or something. No, these people go to extremely dangerous places, and in many cases, yeah, have been kidnapped saying. even by the Taliban. Now, the thing about that's the situation saying. with Arabs kidnapping, and you've seen this already, is that many travel YouTubers actually knew about this kidnapping, but they were told to keep it a secret. There is this anonymous group chat revealing and discussing Arabs kidnapping, but Miles told the people not to reveal their names. What I don't quite understand is how a highly curated group chat can remain anonymous, but I don't know, it just seems difficult to pull off, but that's not the point. Many travel YouTubers actually called Haitian news to leak the kidnapping, but didn't know if the <coughs> Arab was a YouTuber or anything else about him. Before even going to Haiti, Arab got a lot of flack for it, mostly about it being of course extremely unsafe and profiting off of the disaster but arab is determined to stay alive and come out with a great video sean the guy helping him film and getting the contacts in haiti was actually permitted to leave but declined he didn't want to leave until arab safety was guaranteed which is commendable to say hey safety. shout out to that insane. sean dude man shout out to sean he a real dude bro because if if i'm with someone else and we're both kidnapped and let's obviously let's say this is someone I don't know, like not my mom or someone like that or my girl. I don't know. I might have to leave, honestly. I mean, there's only a one chance you can leave from that shit. And if you're given free reign to leave, like I would have told bro, no, listen, leave, bro. Leave, but I'm in. Don't come back. Fucking hell, man. Reacting to, like I show speed, saying, Man, ain't no way, bro. He's just talking to him about this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for the fastest updates as this. Y'all think speed was texting Aram? Y'all know Aram. Or, like, maybe y'all don't know Aram. I know Aram. Like, not physically, figuratively, through his videos. And I don't think he's the type to hang. Well, I can't even say that because he hung. He literally hanged out. I mean, uh, hanged out. Fuck, hung out with um, uh, what's that dude's name? The cuck. He hangs with neon and shit like that. And Aiden. <coughs> you know what I'm talking about. This is a crazy tale of events. I'm not gonna lie. And I hope Arab comes out safely and all that. And shit, people are saying that he knew the risks, but at the same time, he's doing it for journalism. Or maybe he's doing it for financials, I don't know. But a lot of the places Arabs went and showed off 
have been really good videos. It shows you the world way of life there. You know what I'm saying? It shows you their perspective. And he's not doing a bad job at it. So, what are you going to say, babe? I was going to say, what's his purpose? Like, is he trying to change the world? Is he just, like, just saying he's just trying to, like, show us their perspective? Yeah, basically just trying to show us her perspective. Like, it's crazy. Like, when he goes down there and, and visits the cartel members or goes down there and visits fucking... The the Taliban. <laughs> has he ever visited the Taliban? I'm, I think he has. Fucking Arab dude. I hope he's good. Hope he gets out. And uh, if Mr. Barbecue want want some smoke, tell him I answer that. Tell him I answer that. Ain't it? I want one with us. Yeah.